Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a typewriter effect in Camtasia 9. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia 9 right now, and I'm just gonna show you the effect that I'm talking about first, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So here's the typewriter effect that I created in Camtasia 9. I'll just play it right now. So as you can see, it looks really cool. You know, if you're doing like a video and you want like a cool intro or just have it play during a video, it's just a really cool effect that you guys can do in your projects. So let me show you how to do this. So this was the example here, and it's really easy to do. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side, and then we're gonna start from scratch all the way to the beginning. So first thing you need is obviously the text. So you wanna head over to annotations, and you can grab this text or the big text. It's just the difference in size, but you can you can change it either way. So I'll just grab this one since it's bigger already. And then I'm going to put this is the type writer effect. And then I'll just make it bigger. I'll have it take up the entire width here. And then the cool thing is with this, to make it look like the typewriter effect, you need to get like a typewriter type font. So I'm just gonna highlight this and I'm gonna click on this side here to the callout section, go to fonts, and I'm gonna find a font that will look really good with this effect. Now you can do this with any font that you want but I'm gonna show it with a, a certain one that I chose. So I'm gonna choose this one right here, Prestige Elite STD. And see, as you can see, this looks like a typewriter type font. Now, if you want a different font that isn't preloaded in Camtasia 9, I'm gonna have another tutorial on that. You can find it in the description below. It's basically how to add new fonts to Camtasia 9. So you can find that in the description if you wanna add new fonts. But let's say I want this font, okay? And I've typed out what I want. I'm just gonna stretch it out a bit here. Now to get the, the effect of the typewriting, you need to add a behavior to it. So you wanna head over to behaviors and you wanna click on the reveal behavior and drag it down to your text. So all I did was click on reveal and drag it down here. Now I'm gonna play it and you'll see, what, that's not a typewriting effect. Well, you actually need to alter this behavior to make it look like a typewriter. So now that we have this behavior on the text here, we want to alter it. And how you do that is you head over to the right hand side and I'm gonna show you sort of the modifications that you need to do. So you wanna click on during and this is what's happening during the behavior. You actually need to set it to none. You're kind of like turning it off. And then during the out, like when it ends, you need to turn it off as well. So you need to go none. Now in the in section, you need to leave it as is, like you're not turning it off, but you are going to be altering it. And you need to head down to the type, click on that, then hover over text and you're going to see these kinds of options. You want to click on either first to last or left to right. So I'm going to click first to last and then you need to speed this up to 100% and you can play with the, the offset. So the offset is the delay between each animating character. So right now it's at 0 0.05 seconds. I like to have it at 15 or more to make this effect look really cool because I want to I want it to look like someone's typing it out individually. So let's just put it at 16 right there and then we'll play it from the beginning here. And as you can see, it looks like 
someone is typing this out and that is the whole thing, right? That is the typewriter effect. So it makes it look like in your project and videos that someone's actually typing something out. Now, like I said, you can play around and you can make this slower. So if you want each character to come in slower, then you would add more time, like put it to 20 seconds, 25 seconds. If you don't like it to be so slow, then bring it down and then it will look like someone's typing really fast. So that's pretty much it. I'll play both of these again for you. So this was the, the first example here. It says, hello, my name is Jewel. And it looks like someone just typed that. And then the second one here, this is the typewriter effect. So that's how you do it, guys. That is how you do the typewriter effect in Camtasia 9. And if you want to add like sounds or anything, you can download a, a free sound clip, a sound bite from YouTube or Google, and then add it on here so that, you know, it makes that sort of like clicky noise while you're typing to get even more of the effect in your video. And if you want to know how to add music or sounds to your videos, I'll have another video in the description below where you guys can check that out. All right, guys, well, if I was able to help you out today, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. And if you like these free Camtasia 9 tutorials, head down to the description below as I have a whole bunch more tutorials for you guys. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.